Well, hello again. Welcome back. And here we are talking about coins at Spink. We have a general sale coming up at the end of the month. Um, the second of three auctions. We have the specialized collection of Lord Stuart Reeve coins. Um, to begin with, the specialized collection from the Rhodes uh, huge assembly of Indian and Tibetan coins, Northeast Indian coins. But in between those two sales, we have a general sale in which we have English, world coins, European coins, ancient Greek and Roman coins. It's a very varied sale, as our general sales always are. Um, but there's an unusual group of Roman coins. It's an unusual group because it is an entire hoard from the 19th century. Roman siliqua, quite unusual in that they're all superb condition and they're quite interesting emperors. Um, quite unusual because it is an entire hoard. Um, the hoard was discovered in 1887 and taken to the British Museum where they examined it. They were fascinated. They got Sir John Evans to write it up, fully described in the Numismatic Chronicle in 1888. But they didn't take the hoard for the museum. They handed it back. Um, so Mr. Kettlewell kept it in his family and it passed down through the generations. And here we are, nearly 140 years later, um, and we have it for sale. So here we go. Uh, it's all fourth century siliqua, which are silver coins, a few millions as well. And usually the condition after being buried in the ground for so long is middling. These are all very lovely. Um, if you lightly brush them and the dust and the dirt flies off, you have some really quite splendid coins underneath. There are many hundreds of them. And so we're selling some individually and some are quite cheap. You can buy them for, say, 100, 150 pounds. And we're selling some in groups of 5, 10, 20 in the lot. Of course, we've picked out the rare ones and the special ones to put individually. Um, here, just to give you an idea, I've picked out three. Um, three coins that just amuse me, not because they're probably uh, the most interesting numismatically. But I picked out two siliqua of the Emperor Julian, Julian II, known as Julian the Philosopher, um, or to the uh, Christian uh, church writers, Julian the Apostate, because he tried to restore the pagan religion in Rome um, against the wishes of the um, thriving early church. Um, Rome, of course, was still very pagan. Um, Christianity was making headway, but Julian decided to revive all the old um, gods of the uh, ancient Roman pantheon. Um, and this is quite interesting. You can see on his coins, I've chosen two here. They are, in fact, consecutive lots in the sale. But they show, on the one, a very clean, shaven Julian, um, looking every bit like a Christian emperor, very like Constantine and his family. But the next coin, He's suddenly with a shaggy, not just a beard, but a shaggy beard, a philosopher's beard. Um, and this was very deliberate. He decided to sport such a beard in order to show everyone that he was quite serious in his, uh, in his championing of the ancient religions. <coughs> he was known as the philosopher partly because of this, but he was also mocked and ridiculed. Um, and in fact, um, there are, I suppose you would call them pamphleteering. Um, there were lots of things written, scurrilous things written about the emperor. But being a learned chap, he wrote things back. Um, and in fact, um, he even uh, appeared to mock himself, um, calling himself a beard hater, whereas in fact he was um, wearing a beard himself. So this is quite an interesting little bit of history. If you're interested in this period, to buy two such coins, one showing the emperor clean-shaven, one showing him with his philosopher's beard, that's quite a, a nice thing to have. And these are in superb condition. The quality is fantastic, and you can buy these for 
200 pounds. Absolutely fascinating. Um, next to it, a slightly bigger coin, and um, you can see them sitting in the tray. You'll see the size. This is uh, probably twice as big. This is a milliarens, um, and the milliarens is just a larger denomination of the silver coin. But these are quite rare. In fact, this is very rare indeed, showing on the reverse the emperor in a sort of um, temple archway there. Um, these are from um, Arles, the city in France. Uh, this is from Antioch. Um, a splendid portrait. The emperor, Jovian, who had a short reign, as did Julian, um, is very realistically portrayed. Um, this is not a icon. This is not a standardized uh, portrait, um, which you often get in the later coinages. Um, but you look at the portrait of Julian with his beard, and then you look at the portrait um, without the beard, and you see a very characterful uh, depiction of the emperor. Um, so uh, although a bearded emperor can just be a type, um, when he hasn't got a beard, when he's clean shaven, the artist obviously tried to give him a bit of character in some other way. Um, and so we have the rather beefy, jowly, thick-set um, emperor looking quite lifelike, quite realistic. This is a rare coin. You don't get many of these, and in fact in the hoard there are very few milliarens. Uh, most of them are siliqua. And so this one, I'm afraid, will cost you uh, several thousand pounds as opposed to just uh, perhaps a couple of hundred. But well worth having a look. The hoard is fully illustrated on the website. Um, the uh, job lots, I hope, will go to good homes with um, uh, people buying them to examine them carefully and do perhaps numismatic work. If they go out to uh, various countries around the world, then the hoard will be finally dispersed. Um, it's uh, been intact for 100 and whatever it is, since 1887, um, 130 years, um, which is very unusual. Usually hoards are dispersed within a year or two of their discovery, or else they go into a museum intact. Um, so this is a very unusual offering. Uh, we're very pleased to have that. It's on the second day of the auction. The auction on the first day is of the modern coinage on the 26th. All the ancient coins will be on the 27th of September. You can come in and view them all. We'd be very happy to see you, as always, here at Spink. Um, but if you can't attend, they're all illustrated on the website. You can bid on the website. And we look forward to your participation on the 27th. Thank you very much.